Did you see the latest news that Ariana Grande did a virtual concert inside of a video game? That's just a glimpse. Do you notice that our internet is changing? Very soon we are going to get an artificial intelligent based searching facility, decentralized internet called Web 3.0. It will be a lot more fun and has more opportunities to earn money. In this video, you will get all the answers to Web 3.0. Just pay attention the next few minutes. Before getting to know about this mysterious Web 3.0, Let's understand what is Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. Web 1.0 made it easy to create and share content with other people on the web, and as such, it was mostly text-based. Pictures were only used as decoration. It was not until 1993, with the release of Mosaic, that web browsers were created which could show graphics and pictures. This made browsing on a computer much more enjoyable than having to use a dial-up connection to read text pages with images. The problem with Web 1.0 was that it was not interactive. There was no proper algorithm. Users' search experience was not great. Users couldn't find relevant information through their internet search. It was merely a read-only web. Web 1.0 lasted between 1989 to 2005. Then comes the Web 2.0. Web 2.0 refers to the next stage of the World Wide Web. It is an era in which users are increasingly empowered to share, interact, and collaborate with one another using web technologies. In contrast with the original web, Web 2.0 allows users to interact with data from anywhere on any device they have access to. Still, we are in Web 2.0. The examples of Web 2.0 are blogs, social networking sites such as Facebook, YouTube, Wikipedia, because of the wider acceptability of Web 2.0 and mobile internet innovation, the world saw powerful Android mobile devices and iPhones. The internet-based companies such as Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Uber became giant billion-dollar companies. Alternatively, they created a huge gig economy. Millions of people earned income using online platforms by driving part-time, delivering food, or providing online services. Many people became self-made millionaires. They enjoyed the financial freedom. The problem with the Web 2.0 is that internet companies sold their customers' data to third parties. They made money capitalizing people's personal data for advertisement. The data privacy still is a huge concern. You might have heard of Facebook Cambridge Analytica data scandal. Now, you might ask, what is Web 3.0 and why should you care about it? Web 3.0 can be explained with the movie analogy. Web 1.0 is like 1980s black and white movies. Web 2.0 is like 3D movies experience just like Avatar movie released in December 2009. Web 3.0 is like a movie with immersive experiences you are into the movie. In other words, you will be part of the network. In Web 3.0, you wouldn't have any more privacy issues. Nobody can steal your data without your permission. You would own the network, own your own content. As a content creator, you would be the owner of your content and get the monetization right completely. You can sell your contents and enjoy the higher profit. For example, right now, any AdSense amount a YouTuber earns shared with YouTube as 55 to 45 ratio basis. In Web 3.0, in the metaverse world, you can control how much revenue you want to give away. Web 3.0 would be the springboard of metaverse. To know more about metaverse and how to make money, I'm creating a new video. Check out this channel. You might ask, so what technologies are used in Web 3.0? Web 3.0 is based on semantic web concepts and natural language processing that is intuitive for users. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, and peer-to-peer -peer networks will be used in Web 3.0. Still, there is a problem with Web 3.0 because of its decentralized feature, lack of central control. There might be more hate speech, increased amount of cybercrime, or widespread sexual and mental abuse. The perfect example of Web 3.0 is Apple's voice-controlled personal assistant. Until recently, Siri could only provide basic information if you search for a thing. In the future, Siri would provide more comprehensive answers, including any step-by-step -step guides. You won't be annoyed by Siri's answer, I don't know. Even it can do a perfect holiday plan for you by accumulating information from various websites. So, how to make money in Web 3.0? So, in Web 2.0, you made content. Social media companies made money out of your content. In Web 3.0, you would create content and you would make money out of your content without any intermediaries. There will be no middleman. On the other hand, 
For the creative artists, the earning potential is huge. For example, artists, musicians can use this platform Web 3.0 and Metaverse to earn money. They can create the art and music and sell it through by creating non-fungible tokens. Right now, a musician can't take 100% of the music royalties home due to intermediaries such as record companies. In Web 3.0 through NFT sales, there will be no intermediaries. In fact, you can create perpetual passive income opportunities. Let me explain if someone buys your NFTs and sells it again, as the original owner, you can always claim 10% of the sales value every time. So the community engagement would play a huge role in Web 3.0. If community members believe in a project, they can come forward to finance it. Let's say you want to get credit from banks, but you were denied. But you can get credit access through blockchain technology. People can pool their credit on blockchain and lend you with fewer interest rates. Plus, there would be no more bank fees and other annoying fees charged by the banks. On the other hand, if you own a, an apartment in Sydney, Australia and want to sell it, you could do so by creating the real estate NFT tokens. In this channel, there is a detailed video guide on NFTs. Check that out. So how does it work? Let's say someone in India wants to buy a flat in Sydney, but they can't do so in the real world as they need to transfer the huge sums of money. Due to government regulation, it might not be possible. So in Web 3.0, this problem can be solved. Instead of buying the full rights of the property, people can be the ownership of your apartment as little as 1% of the property through owning an NFT token. People can come from all over the world to buy your Sydney property. The new owners can take decision whether to rent it out or not over the blockchain communication in the metaverse world. It's very possible that you would buy property, digital art, try the latest fashion, do your usual 9 to 5 job in the metaverse world. The opportunities will be endless. So, I hope your understanding on Web 3.0 improved. Our internet is indeed going to be exciting. It is our future. If there is any point I missed out or you didn't understand, please let me know down below. I will answer your question. It would be great if you could give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel. Then YouTube will promote this free knowledge to others. It will help others for sure. So to learn more about NFTs, Metaverse, check out the other videos in this channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.